The Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep is an iconic symbol of the Rocky Mountains. They are sure-footed and steadfast, and renowned for their large, beautiful, curling horns and excellent ability to climb. Before the arrival of European settlers, it is estimated that the population of bighorns may have been around two million or more. Due to diseases introduced from domestic livestock, destruction of their natural habitat, and unregulated market hunting between the late 1800s and 1900s, bighorn numbers are now estimated to be around 85,000, which is a threefold increase from when bighorn numbers were at an all-time low between 1960 in 1970. The first sheep put on Wild Horse Island was in 1939, two sheep from the Mission Mountains. In 1947, six more bighorn sheep were moved to the island from Sun River. In 1987, two bighorns from the Ural Tweed area of Lincoln County. So only 10 sheep were put on the island. But starting in 1954, an incredible 561 bighorn sheep have been translocated off the island. Um, that serves all Montanans, and we should be very, very proud of that. On February 28, 2018, the current world record Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Alberta, Canada, was surpassed by over six inches by a Montana ram found dead of natural causes on Wild Horse Island. This nine-year-old ram was scored out by Boone and Crockett at 216 and 3 8 making it the number one Rocky Mountain Bighorn of all time. Thus making three of the top 10 rams in Boone and Crockett from the same island in Montana. We use the term conservation success a lot these days, and that's a good thing. For the most part, big game species in North America have made a miraculous recovery from where population stood at the beginning of the 19th century. This magnificent ram at Wild Horse Island State Park in particular are another chapter in our story of conservation success on this continent. This special animal is proof that our wildlife management model is working thanks to dedicated wildlife professionals in our state and federal agencies, funding from sportsmen and women, and groups like the Wild Sheep Foundation and those who support this great organization. This isn't about a big animal. This is really about a Montana conservation success story. This is an animal that we need to make sure, not just on Wild Horse Island, but across um, our state and indeed across the world, that we're going to preserve it so that the next generations have the opportunities that those before us um, had as well. So things are looking up for the wild sheep, as organizations such as the Wild Sheep Foundation are working on the front lines to not only put wild sheep on the mountain, but keep wild sheep on the mountain. For more information, visit wildsheepfoundation.org.